for the Red Sox is Tim Wakefield. All right, Dickey will take the mound for the Mets. Just two knuckleballers in the majors right now. We're a society that's all about immediate gratification. Speed, velocity, power. The hardest pitch ever thrown. The knuckleball doesn't fit in today's society. To the masses, it's a circus pitch. He's a Red Sox sidecar. A knuckleballer. I learned on some back sandlot fields, a nine-year-old boy. He told me he wanted to grow up and be a baseball player. And marry me. Tricky Dickie. <laughs> Everybody loves a good comeback story. And Ari Dickies is the best in baseball right now. When I started embracing my own personality with the pitch, things started really to take off. Everything you're taught as a catcher goes out the window. And the ball gets away. At the last second, his ball can change direction. It looks spooky. <laughs> you could humiliate the best hitters, the biggest, strongest guys. Swing and a miss. Derek Jeter strikes out. I don't even think he knows where it's going. It is erratic. When it's not done well, it's really bad. All your dreams crumble down. It's what you worked your whole life for. Nobody trusts the knuckleball. Nobody. You're on a little island by yourself, that's for sure. Knuckleballers have always been very rare. They're considered freaks, kind of fraudulent. There was definitely some hard times. He had to sleep in the car he was renting. You just don't ever know if you're ever going to make it back. There's a real unique bond that we share. Learn how to accept losses without being defeated. I think every little kid should learn to throw an uncle ball, you know? Never lose your confidence out there. Once it leaves your hand, it's up to the world what it's going to do.